Yorkshire Health Study is a, um, a fantastic uh, piece of research that's going on in Yorkshire. Um, we've recruited uh, over 22,000 adults in South Yorkshire who've uh, very kindly give us, given us information about themselves, about their health and their long-term conditions. So a whole range of really interesting variables that affect people's health in the short term and the long term. And we're going to follow them up over time. A lot of um, health research is done with patients and people who are uh, maybe uh, visiting hospitals or their GPs. This is all about the health of people in the community. People find that uh, it takes very little of their time and um, engaging with research is usually a, an interesting process. If I was to die, I'd like to know that my son's in being looked after by good health and there's a good health care system set up for him basically so it's definitely important because obviously like questionnaires you can always like find out what general people think like a mass because you couldn't like go on the street and ask every single person what they thought. So the long-term plan for the Yorkshire Health Study is that 5% uh, of the population, adult population of Yorkshire actually sign up and provide us information about their health. That would be a fantastic resource for researchers and clinicians wanting to develop treatments for people in Yorkshire. One study that's looking at obesity is called the Motor Study and that's looking at the relationship between uh, diabetes and obesity. Obesity is a global epidemic and it's causing a lot of health problems for people. If you're overweight, if you have diabetes, it is important for you to lose weight so that you can improve your quality of life and also increase your lifespan. And what we're trying to do is to test mobile technologies uh, to see if it helps people lose weight. Because the Yorkshire Health Study looks at diabetic people, we can then get in contact with them and ask them if they want to take part in our study. Well, the Yorkshire Health Study was useful for us because we could actually set a baseline as to how Rotherham's data actually compares with the rest of Yorkshire. And so then, in years to come, we would expect interventions such as Rio to actually make a difference to people's overall weight and other associated medical problems. The obesity that I had was just bringing me down and down. It just wasn't doing my mental health any good whatsoever. So I just wanted, you know, some a supportive environment where I could come and lose weight. And then now, you know, I'm thinking, oh, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Feeling really positive about myself and really motivated to get on with life, you know. I need to know what type of services our patients actually need. And the Yorkshire Health Study is going to be an invaluable tool for commissioners of services, but also for primary care healthcare professionals like myself. <laughs> To build service around people with I think younger people should take part in these kind of surveys so their needs are met. If I want you know, a service to improve, then I would take part. So why should you join the Yorkshire Health Study? Well, I think there's three things. First of all, it gives you an opportunity, just five, ten minutes, for you to think about your health and how you're managing your health. Uh, the second thing is, is it means that in the future you may possibly be invited to participate in studies that actually may benefit you. But thirdly, and most importantly, uh, the information that you provide is going to help people in Yorkshire in the long term. So even if it doesn't help you, it may help your neighbour or your daughter or your grandma uh, in the future. Join up today.